Richard Southern joins us once again this hour. Hey, Richard, yesterday we talked about cops being pulled off the air. We also talked about uh, Elmo being attacked by Tucker Carlson. Today, <laughs> a, New York, this world, <laughs> a New York Times col columnist is causing a stir because of a popular children's TV show. It's Paw Patrol, and parents know exactly what I'm talking about when I say Paw Patrol. This is a very popular show that, by the way, Janella, is made right here in Ontario. Oh, didn't know that. Yeah, it's a Canadian production, but very popular in the States. Uh, the show depicts pets in various blue-collar jobs, including a dog called Chase, who is a police officer. So yesterday, a New York Times critic penned this piece that criticized the doggy officer Chase for portraying police in a too much of a positive light, uh, according to this uh, particular writer. Uh, everyone on social media quick to chime in on this. One user said, uh, perhaps naming your, your police dog Chase is tone deaf to the suffering of those who have actually been chased by police dogs used as weapons. Others, though, Janela said, this is ridiculous. It's, it, it's just a show. And I don't know. I mean, I'm not familiar with the show. I don't have kids, so I don't know if Chase is a good character or a bad character. Yeah, this I is might say maybe we're going a bit too far here, Janella. This is not the first time I've actually heard this argument that Paw Patrol kind of normalizes in the same way, the same argument about cops that that it kind of promotes the police culture. But I don't have young children, so I've never seen an episode of Paw Patrol. Uh, so I don't, I can't quite weigh in on this. Yeah, maybe one. parents can tweet us and let us know. Yeah, I mean, let I, us know they, what you they, think. Maybe Chase is a good character who helps out the doggy criminals. I don't know, but uh, let I, us I mean, know. They were Twitter. riding some pretty heavy-duty military gear there in that clip was, that you ran. Was, so uh, <laughs> it was all kitted out. So maybe there, maybe there's some truth to the. Maybe group. there's something there. Okay, Joe Biden, uh, the presidential uh, candidate or the Democratic Democratic nominee, was on the day show last night and he had some interesting things to say about Donald Trump. Yeah, this really caught my eye. So Joe Biden said he expects the U.S. military to escort President Trump out of the White House in November should he lose the election and refuse to leave. The former VP said, quote, I promise you, I am absolutely convinced they will escort him from the White House with great dispatch, end quote. Biden says, Janela, his greatest worry is that Trump is going to try and steal the election. And by that, Biden means he's going to try and discredit it. Trump has already talked about uh, how mail-in ballot, mail ballots might not be valid. He could perhaps use that as an excuse, Biden says, to discredit the election. Honestly, you know, <laughs> yeah, Trump has I just, All I know himself. is that this is going to be the craziest, uh, most insane election ever, right, Janela? Yeah, I mean, Trump has managed to top himself with his own behavior that he just stops surprising us. So uh, anything can anything happen. is possible. By the way, I was checking out the uh, the bookies, the gamblers, what they're saying on the election. Would you believe Donald Trump still has the slight edge to come out ahead in November? I do believe to it. I do believe it, Richard. But there are still a couple of months, so it ain't over till it's over. Well, let's see what happens in November. Right on. We'll see you tomorrow, Janelle. Thanks so much, Richard. Have a good one.